Hi everybody and welcome back. Dave Blinder from EXP Realty. Today's video we're going to be looking at Hudson County MLS in pulling up comps for a single family home. I do have a listing on the horizon in downtown Jersey City so this is an important exercise for me. I'm hopeful this is helpful to you as well. So I'm going to maximize the view of my Safari browser. So once we dive into Hudson County MLS, I'm gonna be focused on a certain section of Jersey City because that's where my listing is. When you're in a, a large urban or city area, it's important to hone in on the proper neighborhood as values can sort of jump all over the place. And in my case, I'm gonna be looking at downtown Jersey City somewhere in here. So to kick things off, um, I'm going to log in to my paid Hudson County MLS access. So there's a four digit PIN number that is permanently assigned to you when you onboard join the MLS. I'm going to type mine in. And the password is actually being created by the Clarity mobile app. So just give me a second and I'm going to pull that up. That is a six digit number uh, that is required every time you log in to Hudson County MLS, which is pretty unique. I have not seen a system like that in other MLSs in North Jersey. Pretty secure system. So I've easily opened that Clarity app on my iPhone and now we're in. We're just going to close this pop-up message on Hudson MLS. So I'm gonna begin by clicking on this search icon towards the upper top left-hand corner of Hudson MLS. I'm gonna be looking specifically for single family homes as that is what my listing will be. If you had a multi-family home, you'd be looking for two or four family. There's a condo and co-op option as well, which would include townhouses, I believe. So I've got some uh, cr prior criteria in my search field from last time I ran this exercise. Let's clear that out. Start off with a blank slate. So I can show you how to get accurate comps. Okay. Let's begin by selecting the proper area, which would include city and or neighborhood. So down the area field, you can click on this eyeglass area just to the right of eyeglass area to the right of area eyeglass field and there are small icons but hopefully you can see that blue eyeglass icon so I'll click on that and now we come across <clears throat> a lot of different towns and cities all across New Jersey uh, I don't know how well the search function works. You can give that a shot. I'm going to arrow across. These are alphabetically cities and neighborhoods. So in my case, I'm going to select only JC downtown for downtown Jersey City. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to hit the save function in the top right corner of this window so that these results are brought back to my search screen. And while I'm doing this, um, the search field is already tallying my total number of records. So I definitely do not want to go through an approximate 1600 records um, to provide uh, a CMA or valuation for the listing I have coming up. So we need to start um, narrowing this field down. So to do that, let's begin by restricting the listing date. Typically, your most accurate comps are always going to be within six months. Three months is much, much better. I found I have limited results based on what I'm looking for in downtown Jersey City. So I'm going to go back a little more than six months. Uh, in my case, I'm looking at almost eight months back. So I'll hit a calendar date. And that brings me back. Now I'm down to 54 records. So we're, we're making some progress. Next, I'm going to go into the status and hit that eyeglass to the right. 
So I could bring up the active houses. It's good to know what's going on. What's your potential competition when you're doing a CMA? We absolutely need to bring up the sold fields and we could take a look at the uh, under contracts as well. I'm going to skip over expires and withdrawals in this case and I'm not looking at rental properties um, right now. Cool, so we're down to 33 homes. My target property, as I'm getting better acquainted with it, is a three bedroom single family home, a row house of sorts in downtown Jersey City. So I really don't want to bring up any one bedroom properties most likely, but I don't want to bring up any monster houses like a five bedroom either as that value is going to be significantly higher than what I'm looking to list. So I'm just going to put the upper limit on bedrooms here as four. We know we need at least one full bathroom. And I'm going to put a maximum of three just to, just to get some good results going here. If you wanted to, you could toggle down on the secondary criteria in the lower left portion of the field. Clicking on that blue downward arrow pops open this field. And you could go into feature the features field and hit that eyeglass. You could restrict your results by uh, architecture or architectural or building type here. Also parking, as um, there are different options for garages and parking spaces, uh, heating and cooling options, a lot of cool stuff in here. You could spend some time getting better acquainted. And the, uh, the more criteria you have selected, the, um, the more specific the results you'll have. However, you may limit your, your results and uh, not get a whole lot of a sample size going. So I'm not going to mess with secondary criteria just yet. Sorry for getting wordy too. We'll try to pick up the pace for you. So I've got a lot of different home, I've got under contracts, back on market, sold homes, downtown Jersey City. We've got our listing date right now is June 2021. We could always come in closer. Bedrooms, bathrooms. Let's hit search and look at these records in the MLS and Hudson MLS. Cool. So these are all coming up. This is just a search field. Uh, there's a lot more detail. You could search these any which way you want. Right now they are sorted, I believe, by MLS number. However, that is assigned. We can look at the addresses, total number of beds, or you could even search by, uh, you could sort them by price if you chose to do that as well. That could be a helpful starting point. Um, so some of these homes are very pertinent for my listing coming up. If I click on any MLS number from the search field, it brings me up to the record. Hopefully you can see this clearly. So on Hudson MLS, we have our LP, our original, our list price in the top right corner of the screen. We have our sold date down a little further left. So this one, this MLS record went above sold price. We have our contract and closing prices here. We have, we see the financing was cash on this deal. We can see lot size here. On this field, we can see the array of rooms where they're located as this looks like it was a uh, three level single family home. So that is good knowledge for you and your clients as well. Especially if they're looking to purchase some, they wanna know what floors are these different items on. If it was an active showing, you could request active listing, you could request a showing. This is not an active showing. You can see the original listing agency. Let's see. And if I hit that D button, which was in the lower right hand corner, the D icon, I can still bring up the, uh, do the documents and attachments for this listing. So we have the very important lead paint addendum. It's always important to provide that to your clients right away. COVID hold harmless form, which is typically optional. And some offer instructions as well. It's dry in here, sorry guys. So to exit these attached documents, I can toggle back to the agent report 
and I did that by clicking the uh, green report button towards the um, kind of upper right field of the screen. We can enlarge any of the photographs by clicking on the carousel and you could advance through these pictures manually. So not an updated home, this one that sold, but maybe a lot of potential because it looks like we have a pretty large uh, yard space at this comp. And who doesn't love a photograph taken through a screen? That could be uh, artistic work, uh, maybe even an abstract. That's not important right now. So we could also bring up um, a PDF view of the listing. If we go to the More field, which is in the top right of the bar, looks like a folder icon. And what this accomplishes, it gives us a uh, print ready format of this MLS record or comp, if you will. So this would be a good way of sending these to your printer. Um, you can also email these out to uh, your client yourself. There are different sorts of formats of reports when you click on that green report button all the way on the right side. Some of these could be very nice, different ways of presenting information, and these could boil down to your personal preference of how you want to um, give these records to your clients. So I'm going to go back to Agent Report. We're still in that, that um, PDF view, but we can go back to our more traditional view by clicking on HTML which is which stands for hypertext markup language if you wanted to know which is um, the fashion with which most websites are built anyhow we can go back we can toggle through our listings or kind of sort through them by using our arrow buttons here as well and what we can do is go back to go back to our criteria here and if we wanted to just hone in or select certain records this is a good opportunity to do that so we can click on our check boxes here if we wanted to eliminate some listings that maybe were not seeming too pertinent we can grab the few that we like that are most similar to our target property. We always want the ones that are most similar. In my case, when I see these listings that are um, under contract and sold for um, two million and over, I have a feeling they're not gonna be like um, the home I'm looking at in my case. These are probably heavily renovated with much larger lot sizes. Um, probably a lot more square footage too. So these are bigger buildings than I'm looking for in my case. But you always want to spend time uh, going through a lot of these records um, and finding ones that are maybe next to our neighbors to your listing and also um, the most similar attributes to your target property, whether it be um, helping out with a buyer for their purchase or seller for an upcoming listing. Hit the back screen to revert to our results. We've still got our full list here. And if I click on checked now, that limits down our results and gets rid of, rid of those ex, extraneous results that we do not find pertinent. So hopefully that's helpful for you for bringing up some results um, for potential CMA or a listing appointment, which is always a great opportunity to have. And if you wanted to search for um, multifamily homes or condos, that should be hopefully pretty straightforward as well. Kind of the same process where you select your area, um, your listing date and status. And I don't want to go too much further and get too wordy here, but a lot of times I do like to bring my um, my search results over to RPR, which is a nice print format for providing a slick CMA to your clients. Also, there's a pretty cool screen now when you log into RPR as a member of your local realtor board. 
as I hope you are, or if you're striving to do so, it's a very cool thing to do. Anyways, you can now have your kind of home markets when you log into this RPR site. RPR is a great resource for us agents for creating property reports and doing our research. So you can add a custom neighborhood to RPR by clicking on this add button. But just for curiosity, if I hone in on downtown Jersey City, we can also see what's for sale or sold here on RPR. So this is an alternate tool potentially for finding comps. I always recommend you do your due diligence on the MLS. Sometimes um, tools such as RPR miss a listing. However, sometimes they pick up a listing that cannot be found on your MLS. And so if I click on this 499, I'm coming up with a listing that did not come up for me in Hudson County MLS. I already know the reason why, but we can click on view full details on this record, which is very, very close to the house I'll be listing uh, in a month or two. So when I click on view full details in RPR, I can see that 329 7th Street, which is downtown Jersey City and looks to be a single family home, uh, is listed on Garden State MLS, New Jersey MLS, but not Hudson County MLS. So as you're doing your CMAs, it's important that you take your time and don't rush through these. You would never want to miss um, a valuable comp that is going to help you determine your value but it could also win you the listing when you're the most informed agent. So you don't want to miss these pertinent records uh, when you're getting ready for an appointment with your client. This one's actively for sale, but like I said before, a lot of times I will use RPR just for CMAs and you can access that by uh, heading over to the CMA field here. Uh, we're going to save that for a different video and you would enter in your target property address here to begin um, your CMA for whatever home you're looking to list. So I'm going to wrap that up. Hopefully that was helpful to you. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you could subscribe, that really helps me out. Uh, if you want any more MLS training in North Jersey, I'm happy to provide that. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or send me an email at dave at dave blinder. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll talk to you next time.